What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and with Omeda Studios and MetaBuff bringing our favorite game back to life, it's time to talk about what we want done different. Epic screwed the pooch with Paragon and we find ourselves in a unique position to effectively use our hindsight to make right what once went wrong. A little bit of a Quantum Leap reference for you. I'm going to start this off by asking that Drongo be brought back into the game sooner rather than later. Drongo is one of the least played heroes in Paragon. Not because he was bad, but because he simply released at the wrong time in the game's life cycle. His abilities relied on accuracy during a time when Multishot Jim had thrown accuracy out the window. Yes, rad rounds were patched down the road so that Multishot worked with it, but the damage had already been done, and Drago was relegated to the niche pick position. I've always felt some kind of way about that because Drago was an awesome design. Yes, it's the standard cliche Aussie Mad Max character, but it was done well. He was a touch off in the head which was fun, he had a rusty boomerang that served as a very unique ability, and hell, even his name is Australian slang for a slightly dumb person. I really looked forward to his release but was very disappointed with how he actually played. Let's go over some of his abilities and talk about why they would have worked well in Legacy but didn't do so hot in Monolith. We'll begin with Rad Rounds. You can activate your Rad Rounds and then have the ability to stack up a time release damage ability. The more rounds you hit, the bigger the eventual explosion of damage was. It's a cool concept, get in, stack a bunch of damage, then back out and let your rounds do work. However, why would you ever want to wait for your 4 or 5 shots to eventually deal damage when you could just pick Murdoch and delete someone with 3 shots immediately? Rad rounds would have been great during Legacy Paragon where the time to kill was much longer. I mean yeah, there was a time in Legacy where Doc could still delete people in 2-3 to three shots, but for the most part Drongo and his rad rounds would have had far more impact during the earlier iterations of Paragon. Now we have Gag Grenade. This would allow you to throw an AoE silencing effect on the ground and was meant to counter Countess in particular during the height of her terrible reign. I called the problem with this right out the gate. All you really did with this ability was delay the inevitable. You may interrupt her briefly but she'll quickly just shadow slip and delete you once the effect is done. Hopefully with these Paragon remakes, you can use your grenade as a team silence that can have great effect when taking cramped objectives. His alternate attack was Old Rusty. You could send out a boomerang that would pass through and slow targets. You could also alter the return trajectory by simply moving to a different point. There was nothing at all wrong with this ability as far as I could tell. It was unique and fun, worked well in Monolith, and would be equally good in Core or Predecessor. Drongo's ultimate was Shrapnel Cannon. You would do a shotgun blast of damage that would shred basic armor and send Drongo flying backwards. This shit sucked. The range was extremely short, the damage was low, and if you didn't finish someone off with it, there was no way of taking advantage of that armor shred because you had just knocked yourself out of basic attack range. It was basically a shitty escape tied to an ultimate. I have no idea what they were thinking. I hope there are some adjustments made to this ultimate when he's brought back because it needed love. I get the concept, get in, stack rad rounds, blast your way out, but it just didn't work that way. Drongo was a fun character designed with unique abilities that was ignored by most of the player base. Yes, I know there are some Drongo mains out there, but you guys are few and far between. I think he could be a much more popular pick if he's released early on in the life cycle of Core and Predecessor, and finally get the limelight he deserves. I'll be doing a few more of these Call to Arms videos where I talk about things that could have been done different. If you have any ideas for one, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more third-person MOBA content. Ugh. I felt dirty saying real YouTuber shit. Anyway, I'm out of here. Mangoo!